Hey guys, it's Ian at SS8000 Cars and welcome to Porsche Hatfield. And today we're up here, it's an exciting day. We're up here to collect the Panamera E-Hybrid. Apparently it's in the showroom waiting for us and I'm, I must admit, I am incredibly excited. I think it's going to be a fantastic everyday car. Got James with me today. Hi. James is going to do quite a bit of the filming today, hopefully, if I can persuade him. And one thing that is in the window, which I'd just like to show you very briefly, which I've got my briefcase parts just parked strategically in front of, is the Turbo S Exclusive. And it's a car I really, really like. So hopefully we'll do a quick run around this as well. What a machine. Anyway, we're looking forward to today and um, we'll come back to you once we're inside. All right, see you in a second. Well, hey guys, I'm, I'm with Stuart. He's Hello. the guy at Hatfield. Um, he's going away to show me the E-Hybrid. Yeah, uh, we're going to walk down the to the car. E -hybrid. Yeah. We'll, we'll call it the E-Hybrid, I think. You don't call it in any other name? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody else calls their, um, their electric cars E-Hybrid, do they? No, no. It's, Obviously um, with, with Tesla. I and S and stuff. And like all sorts of other things, but not E-Hybrid. So. Lots, lots of initials are being used. So the car arrived on Tuesday, um, was it? It was Tuesday, yep. Yeah. So it's been on charge today, through the right. Valentine Bay today. And it's hidden. And it's, it's hidden away. Yeah. Two things that I'm really fascinated to know is one, the contrast with the black yep. and the, the dark brown interior. <laughs> and then obviously they've got the sport design sport wheels, design. but they're in platinum. So I must admit, I'm really looking forward to the contrast with the, with the black. Ready okay, well, where, where do you think? Maybe from over here? Probably from the front. The best, um, you sort of stand there and then Stuart and I can pull Yeah, so it's, it's basically one side each, yep, I'll take, I'll and we'll go side. straight to the back. They will get stuck, because they always do on the number Oh, right, yeah, they get caught. Right, okay. okay. So that's gone. <laughs> You're okay. Yeah, well, we'll need it. We might need it, just make it a little bit more local. I imagine that I might not get back all the way. Because that gets stopped. I'm going to ask you to just think about steering it. Yeah, we'll do it. Go on, let's go on. So this is it. So you can see it's uh, a few marks from the cover, but basically the under this light, the fluorescent light, it um, it sparkles. Wow. Okay, it looks like there's uh, those are all the cables. There's all the cables inside there. Yeah, so we've hey, got the charging the, pack. <laughs> yeah, the charging packs in there, all the different cables. And then there's the fixed luggage cover yes. in leather, which is, I mean, I love that. Indeed, it does look good, doesn't it? That's, that looks so much nicer. I mean, the roll bar has its uses, I'm not they suggesting. They do, but, but yeah, that is finished wise. Yeah. Yeah. That is that's beautiful. beautiful. It's all stitched. And yeah, yes, yeah. Okay, so. So you're the bit you've been waiting for. This is the bit I've been waiting for. That is lovely. I love that. And then it's got the Alcantara roof. And you've got the Alcantara roof liner as well, which really, really adds to it. So it you sets it off, doesn't it? Side wow. as well. That is just, it's lovely leather. I love, I love that. It, uh, it's, the, it's the quality of the leather. I mean, the, the finish is amazing. And it's, say, with the Alcantara, mm. that runs. Is it slightly, it's a different, it's slightly different leather to the, the standard, is yes, it? Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's the, uh, the more of the smoother finish. Right. Rather than the sort of the model. You get, yes, you've got the, you know, and then we've got all the stitching around the, we've got yeah. the leather around the instrument and the the binnacle here is yeah. all leather got the carbon trim got the carbon trim well. which actually goes beautifully with the uh, brown leather doesn't it it does really well what yeah. do you think james you um go on you, you have a better look if you i really like it it's really, i think it's i think it's really nice i haven't seen any actually i haven't seen one on the on the on your user you know, used car. No, that has the the brown leather. No, uh, it, it, I mean, I guess you know, with Porsche, it's still quite black and black, black and black, black and black. Yeah, with black and black. Sometimes then they go for the two tone. Yeah, the, sometimes, the sort of but black and maybe cream or. Yeah, but then you're not going to get the rest of the finish either. Whereby now, you know, with the, the finish through the door, mix that with the carbon. It's yeah, just, no, it's lovely. Just all that stuff, isn't it? And then also, I think in this particular color, color, I think it was probably right to have the stitching in the same color. Yeah, I don't think we needed another color. I don't think we needed another color involved. And then you can see 
clearly in the back you've got the four zone auto climate which also brings some other features with it just the lights on yeah look at that james Oh wow, that's quite cool. You quite like that. And then I think there are a few other, you've got other information that you can pull up there as well, haven't you, rather than just oh, the climate? Yeah, but... Yeah, that was one of the reasons for getting it, actually, was oh, not so much about the vote. Well, you've got, yeah. you, can you imagine how much trouble he'll be causing when he's... Uh, that's why he'll be regretting, man. What you can do... <laughs> the, uh... So how does the blind work? I just put your finger was there. That one? Should, yes, yeah. Ah! There you go. The frame is actually built in with... It's it. into the... It's actually into the... Yeah. Um, oh, that is clever. Wow, isn't that clever? That would just go back and see. Because you see... Got it. No, no, that's fine. Do you see Do you see it? Do you want to stick your head in there and have a have a quick have a quick look? So, well, right, so look behind the rear seats. So okay. the rear seats there, and then the button at the back, just towards the right. That's it. So if you just press... Uh, no, sorry, that just, that's it. Yeah, just press that one. And it should go down. Yeah. And it goes down if reverse is selected, I understand. Yes, yeah, so you that's what they, yeah. visibility. Obviously, yeah. That's very clever. It is, it's... Um, <laughs> Yeah, Say that again, James. I say the back's nicer than the front, Dad. <laughs> yes, well, you're still sitting in the front with me on the way back. I like the sports seats as well. They're slightly more... Yes. Can I get in? Is that okay? Oh, yeah, good. It's your car. <laughs> wow. That is super. Right, James, mind yourself, because I'm... That'll come down into a position that's comfy. There's an awful lot of lights that's up in there. Yeah. But it looks better sometimes than sort of dark inside, but then, you know, you see all the lights. Yeah, I can imagine it. So we've got the Alcantara yeah, roof lining. We've got leather all the way across the dash and also the, the panel below the steering wheel, which is just, it's very classy, it has to be said. I love the interior of the Panamera. Panamera. And then you've got the full management information screen, which incorporates your sat-nav and all your controls uh, right in front of you huge screen it's a very modern car but again with the with the full leather and the the carbon and the alcantara it feels very luxurious all right guys well i'm going to get james to have a quick run around the the outside now um in the meantime wow what a machine hi guys i'll quickly take you around the car as daz currently doing some paperwork so front of the car you'll notice the lights are very interesting so there are four points there hopefully you can see so there's one there two there three there four there and the main beam and the four lights represent the Le Mans car which you can see out there uh, so it has four lights on either side and the way that would work is when it was behind a Porsche car um, it would dim the headlights so it wouldn't dazzle them when it's behind an Audi car which is obviously trying to race it would try and dazzle them to keep the headlights on which is all very clever so they've tried to kind of keep that look within here so it kind of holds a bit of a sport design to it which I think looks really nice especially when the lights are on uh, when the lights are on which we'll try and show you later it really looks fantastic so dad's gone for the platinum wheels um, I think they're much better than the standard silver wheels and um, they don't shine as much and they also stand out quite nicely with the color dad's chosen for the car um, you might notice that in the calipers, he's gone for the um, black ones instead of the standard green ones because uh, he didn't want it to stand out. Personally, I think the green ones look quite nice because they show it's a hybrid car, um, which only the hybrid cars really tend to have these days. But Dad wants it to be less showy, so he's gone for the black. Now the inside of the car is a completely different story. Now Dad had the old Panamera, the version before this, and gosh they have really really updated everything so it has a Bose uh, surround system just like the old one did but I mean the, the quality and beauty is just so beautiful I mean the color is absolutely fantastic um, it's got a lot more electronic features um, and this whole section is a screen it's absolutely massive uh, I'm sure Dad will show you at some point what all the features are, but there are so many from what the guy's already shown us at the dealership. Um, the steering wheel is absolutely fantastic. So here, you'll notice you have different settings. So you've got Sport, Hybrid, and Normal Drive. Um, oh, sorry, that's Electric, sorry. Uh, so you've got Sport, Hybrid, and Electric, which you can switch between at your fingertips, which is quite nice, instead of generally having to do it on the screen, which is quite good. Um, the grip of the steering wheel is fantastic and I love, I absolutely love 
these aren't they are they just do such a nice click when you click them i can't imagine what it must be like to be driving when you're flicking through the gears absolutely brilliant so now the back the back is wonderful and i can't wait to sit in the back of it so the back has rear heated seats and dan has gone for the option where you get the screen but you get to control everything the exact same as you would from the screen in front so that includes radio um and media and things like that which is quite cool um sadly dad does have a button in the front which allows him to disengage us touching any of those buttons but it's quite cool if he lets us do that um, and then you've got your own personalized vent system and things like that so i mean it's a real luxury to be sitting in the back of this carl also has usb plugs right there for back passengers which is quite helpful um for long journeys because i'm sure they'll take us to france as well and the seat belts i think they quite go quite well with the um, leather color here they really stand out quite nicely okay so that's just a quick overview of the car guys well we're on our way back in our brand new car and uh, James and I are sitting in the front and I have to say this car is pretty damn sophisticated uh, you would not believe how many different parameters you've got for different settings now we're in e-hybrid at the moment you have effectively electric you have e-hybrid which swaps between electric and the power source in the uh, in the car and you have sport and you have sport plus which has the engine on the whole time the engine's pretty unintrusive you you're not really aware of the engine although as james said a second ago if i mix if i put my foot down it makes more of a noise when you're when it's switching between electric mode and having my foot down now what james has just done there is he's configured the screening car and one of the things I love about the Panamera e-hybrid is, and all Panameras, is how good it looks when it's in its low suspension setting. Now, when you set it up in low suspension setting, it immediately goes to chassis sport, but it's not uncomfortable. I think James would probably confirm that, mind you, we're on a smooth surface, but you'd have to say it's not, it's not uncomfortable you at all. You wouldn't even think the chassis is in sport, you think it was in comfort. <laughs> and one of the things I found when I had the, uh, Panamera 4S on loan, I noticed that in sport mode with the chassis set low, it's still high enough in normal road conditions for all the speed bumps that you'll come across either in the place where we live or in London. So, you know, it's, it's very, very easy to, very easy to drive, very comfortable. Massive amount of information, both on the central screen and on the two configurable screens either side of the ref counter as you can see the car has now done actually you can't see how many miles we've done done 23 at the showroom and we've probably done a whole five further than that so overall first impressions i think james and i are quite impressed it's a four-seated car as those of you familiar with panameras will know and it's going to be a great everyday. I'm very, very, very lucky to have this as an everyday car. I genuinely can't think of a nicer place to be inside the car than in the Panamera. I prefer it to the certainly the old Bentley GT. The new Continental GT, which was announced at Frankfurt a couple of months ago, is beautiful too. And again, as you probably know, the chassis settings and the, the basic running gear of the Continental GT are the same as the Panamera it got taken from the Panamera so it'll be a very com competent car the new Bentley GT I prefer it to the Rolls-Royce Ghost which I did look at 
Right? Yeah, I'm very, very, very pleased with my choice, and I love the colour scheme. Now, you probably can't notice if James brings the uh, the camera in front of the dials, you'll you'll note that the ref counts as at zero, is because we're in entirely electric mode now. So we're travelling at sort of 46, 47 miles an hour. The uh, the car has decided to to have us in electric mode. Which is perfect really. Only thing is I'm using up my electric power, but that's the way that's the ways of life. Now you I don't know whether you heard there, the engine has cut in as I get up to 60 miles an hour. We're back into using the ref counter again. Very smooth. Now the only thing about any hybrid is the weight penalty you have over the standard car and one of the things that's going to be very interesting to experience over the next weeks and months is just how that affects the handling because I've said on record that I thought the Panamera 4S was a better handling car than the DB11 12-cylinder engine car so I know the V8 is supposed to be a bit sweeter in terms of its handling handling but I'd be very interested to see what this car's like obviously at the moment we're running it in but anyway I hope you enjoyed the collection day very exciting time so thanks for watching it's Ian from SS8000 cars signing off guys and I'll catch up with you with the next installment on the Panamera